What's up, YouTube? Um, bought me a home gym. Paid 60 bucks for it. It's got all kinds of stuff. Does butterflies. Got it on that Let It Go website. Um, it needs new cables. So, if you can see, these cables are pretty shredded. They're all nasty. They're falling off. The rubber's off the cables, so they start. They come off the off the belt or off the pulleys, and it's kind of kind of a mess. So I bought some new cables to replace it. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So don't mind the messy garage. Um, it's almost time for a yard sale. So yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start at one end of the cable. That way I don't have to try to figure out the path the cable goes. Um, I'll undo this um, here and start there. These cables have pre-done ends that you need a crimper tool for. Um, I'm going to do them a little bit different. Um, just because I, I didn't see any uh, of these in the store. So I may, I'm may i going to make something a little different. I'll show you what I did. So what I got is these little things. Um, and it says to not use with um, athletic or playground equipment. But I think it will be okay because um, I trust it enough. I'm, I'm not, it's not lifting my weight, so, um, if it snaps, it will just hurt the machine and not me, so, I think it'll be okay. Um, and then, I got these little, um, these are called cable clamps, and you put the cable in there, and when it's doubled over, it'll cinch up tight onto it, so I'll show you how I do that. Um, I'll undo some of these real quick and then show you. I'll take this and loop it around like that. And then I'll take these cable clamps, put it on here like this, put the bottom on, and then you get those nuts on there. You can take it a little farther down and then move it up. We'll do two of those on each end when we gotta join them together. We'll cinch them down real good, and then that'll cinch down on that loop. So I used a drill to put these on here, um, and it gets them tight, but you want to use a wrench and really get them on there good, especially since they're going to be lifting 200 pounds or so, and uh, get one side tightened, uh, move to the next side, try it again, because once, as it moves tighter on the cable. See how that's done? I don't know if it's important to make sure that it's they're both going the same direction or not, but um, that's what it looks like.
Okay, back over to the machine, and we'll just replace our bolt on here, and make sure it's wrapped around there good, we'll just tighten her down. I think that's pretty good. And then we'll follow our, just follow our cables back. Um, and follow it all the way around. Pulling it through, and then we'll have to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so per the instructions on the little things, it said add three to every cable application. So there it is. Um, all done on that side, and I added a added three, and then on this side. And I didn't like the way it looked with the one in the opposite direction, so uh, there they are, all cinched up. Got 50 pounds on right now. So. There's 50. Let's see if we can do 100. This machine is a wider um, power stack, 200 pound bench press. Um, it says cross train master. I don't know. It didn't come with any books or anything, so. But they're all pretty much the same. So there it is. I'll probably there's one at the bottom. I'll probably replace that and then call it a day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.